Leave the house off for now, we need to get a thing in. So this is a long one, four foot. Doing maintenance on this device. Uh, get the label first, I suppose. Oh, it's quite dirty. Dirty, there's a lot of sludge in here. As you can see, burn stuff here. So we're gonna replace the oil and uh, put it all back together. Do some tests, insulation tests. Let's turn the camera light on, stand by. Click. And there's a transformator. Yeah. Top lid. That's the footstep, I never knew that either. I learned it today. <laughs> Documented for anybody else who does long and corporate maintenance. No doubt people in the UK will know that's an outgoing cable that's connected to the bus. And then the other two, we have a look at the back. Two big boxes. They're basically feeder in through the switch, feeder out. It's the earth bank here on side. Find the other one for me. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're just draining out the oil at the moment. And as you can see on the side, it was very dirty oil, sludge oil. So uh, this switch was definitely due for maintenance. So when we're done, we're going to rinse it with some clean oil and then fill it up to the appropriate level. Look at the oil. The oil goes to the tube here into the oil device in the oil truck. Are you ready? Okay, no, 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 Test probes, uh, the test there on the top of the cable, and on this side is a uh, bolt on cable which is straight onto the bus. This is nice and all for the party. Nice, dirty oil. Okay, so if you take the rear, I left the top bottom. Oh, no, this is the part, this is the switching mechanism. You can see there's a lot of uh, dirt in here, very greasy sludge. And so, the idea of doing maintenance is getting rid of the sludge, get qualified certified oil in there, 80 kV per 2.5 millimeters. Look at this here. I'll let the camera go down and we'll see how well it's going to pick up this stuff in here. I may zoom out a little bit. There's dividers in here. Spaces. And then we got the stuff here that is. That's where our bus is coupled. So here are our test points. That's for the cable. You see the bone underneath. And then we go this way. That's the extension which goes to the bus. Bus extension which goes into a cable. The bus extension goes from here, goes into this box. This is a pitted tire, pitted box or whatever. And it goes into this cable. Underneath the ground and comes out onto uh, this particular feeder here, and it is controlled by the protection. It feeds uh, private network. These are the standard GF3 devices. And the other one is a GF3 device as well. I hope the camera caps it.
Right there, for us. Okay. Okay, we've rinsed it as best as we can. It's pretty good there, and now we go to the other side. You see the piercing contacts here. They go via a lever mechanism from there. That's pretty clean. Came out quite well. Okay, the lid is back on. Uh, the circuit is no fuses in here, that's a spare circuit. It stays uh, locked off. Yeah, ready. Device being energized. Oh, that's pretty quiet. This letter so sweet. We've got electrons available. We can have a quick look at the nameplate. 750KVA. CV charged. Ready to close. Now, the appropriate tool, tool is important for the device. Closing. Okay, we've got glasses. Very smooth. Slides back on. 